Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you that how you can create a drop down into your Shopify store. So if you have different theme then of course you would able to implement the same thing which I am implementing in this theme. This is debut theme. So on the top uh, you can see that I have some options here like home, catalog, about, contact, shop and then I have blenders since I have the store of blenders. So let me click on this menu. So you can see that we have multiple uh, uh, sub menus uh, under portable blenders, under bottles. So uh, how you can do this because this is something which is more descriptive to the customers. So if your customers are trying to uh, see your products that uh, which kind of products you are having. So in this way uh, they could understand your whole store. So let me show you how I did this. So let me refresh this page and actually I removed that menu. So let me add it once again. So first of all you need to go to uh, your collections and for that you need to click on products and then click on collections. So you should create some collections. Collections are the group of products. Like for example, you have shirts. So all the shirts would be under one collection. Uh, if there are pants or for example, uh, portable blenders. So those would be categorized into this specific collection. So you should have multiple collections. And uh, for example, you are interested to create one, then you can click on this collection. And here, for example, I have uh, under shirt so this is the collection name and for now I am going to add a simple image and then for for now you should click on manual and then uh, theme template default is collection so let's save this and now you will see that in the list of collections you will be finding this specific collection into the list so let me show you here so yeah here on the first point uh, we have undershirt so in the same way you can create the collection and now let me add the uh, navigation so you should click on uh, themes then click on navigation so i'm going to create the menu for the blenders so for that i have to click on main menu then click on add menu and here i have to search uh, that specific uh, for example first of all I need to uh, click on blenders so this is for example I am considering this a page which is shop page and let me click on add and then you can see that I have this blenders and if I'm refreshing this page and now you will be see that you will see that this is the blender menu under this I am going to add some uh, more sub menus and for that for example I have portable blenders and you should click on collections then we have all these blenders and let me click on portable and then click on add in the same way I'm going to add one more menu which are like uh, you should uh, click on this link and automatically you will be getting the clue that which are under this category so uh, under the part table we have the blenders first of all then again I'm going to add one more collection and then uh, then after we have mixer for example and let me click on add once again I'm going to add one more which are collection and under this we have shaker let me click on add then again I'm going to add one more uh, sorry collection and you should click on mixer grinder bottles let me click on add so now I am going to save these changes and let me show you here so currently you can see that these are separate links but I am interested to keep under blenders. So uh, this, this is the blender. So first is portable and this is already we have added on, on the top. So then we have mixer, then we have shaker, and then we have bottles. Alright, so for example under portable so let me show you now how it would look like 
Now you can see that we have blenders and under this we have potable, mixer, bottles, shaker. Alright, so for example I am interested to keep, uh, uh, keep some changes. Let me show you how. So under this blenders, for example I am interested to keep uh, the shaker under this potable and mixer uh, under the mixer I'm going to add bottles and let me save these changes and now you will uh, see one difference so let me refresh this page now you can see that we have portable mixer and under this portable we have shaker and we have bottles under uh, mixer so in the same way if we are uh, adding something more then of course that would be added under this first example I am going to add one more menu for cloths so let me add one collection for example coat and then I have some pants and there are a lot of pe a lot of other things which I am going to add for now so just wanted to show you that how you should do the thing t-shirt collection then click on for example undershirt so now let me save these changes but uh, still I am interested for example you are interested to keep one more sub menu here and which should be cloths and under this for example I am going to add one more page which is for example shop page and let me add under this all the sub menus which were there so let me save these changes and now you will see that there is a different style here now see that we have cloths, coat, pants, t-shirt, undershirt so in the same way you can actually scatter the uh, categories of your products so that your customers could identify that which uh, which products you are selling on to your store so this was the simple way so I will be showing you some more things in the new videos so for now that's it so if you are facing any specific problem in any other theme so you can ask me uh, the question below in the comment section so I will definitely help you out in that so thank you so much for watching this video if you are new on this channel then please subscribe this channel and also like this video so see you in the next video